What's going on, guys? Alvin Pounds here, here to do the next segment, episode three, I believe, of Hate Justified. This time for a series we all know, and we do know that in this community, people hate the shit out of Naruto. Ship it. But we're looking at the whole series, Naruto and Shippuden, because technically, it's only one series, technically, you know, if you go by the manga. So, let's get right into this shit. Does it deserve all the hate it gets within this community? Let's look at a couple aspects of the story and see if it really does deserve all that hate. First, let's look at the plot. The plot of Naruto. When it first started off and I watched it on Toonami and I really got into the show, the plot was based around what? Naruto trying to work his way up in the ninja world and become the Hokage. That was the plot. He went on missions, he trained, shooting exams, so he could make it big. And the whole Konoha 11 was involved. Everybody had their favorite. Growing up in school, some kids like Shino, Sasuke fanboys, there were Nar people like Naruto, people like Neji, Rock Lee, Sakura. Everybody had a favorite in the Konoha 11. It was fucking amazing. Ten Ten too. Uh, even in the games, people just, like everybody was fair game. Uh, we had your Kakashi fans. Everybody was fair game. But Kishimoto made it so that they, he disappointed all the fans of everybody other than Naruto and Sasuke because every other fucking character, all the fan favorites, all these amazing members of the Konoha Eleven are now absolutely, completely, and totally irrelevant. That is not a fucking good thing. But that is not reason alone enough to mark it off as a bad series and say you hate the series. Although I would count it as a very prominent negative. Now, uh, going deeper into this aspect, um, why are they irrelevant? There has to be a reason why they're irrelevant. Um, and it has to do with the power levels in the series and the big, humongous ass gap between those strong and the weak. Top tier characters, and they're only a handful. The Kage, old and new, Madara, Obito, and Naruto and Sasuke. Everyone else is pretty much shit tier compared to these guys. And that is a damn shame. Um, I really think this is bad for the series. Um, and it really turned it into part one, where we had more of a tactical battle of wits. Shikamaru, uh, Neji versus Kitamaru. Rock Lee vs. Kimimaru, Gara vs. Lee, where you really had to look at the tactics you can go into the battle with. Your willpower, tactics, and overall strength. Now, it's overall strength trumps all. I'm not saying there's completely no tactics in Shippuden, but pretty much who has the bigger dick wins. Obito just happens to have 10 times longer of a dick than everyone else because he fucking took control of the Jubilee. Not gonna get into that bullshit yet. But I will be getting into that a little bit later. But yeah, the, the fights went from tactical, great, and calculating uh, Hidan Kakazu arc to the current war arc, which is just biggest dick trumps them all. Um, which is really a shame, uh, noting the fact that Naruto's animation and art style are the best tailored out of the big three for fighting. The fights in Naruto are just on that next level shit. But the fact that... The fights aren't what they used to be as far as the thought process behind them. It really hinders the overall effectiveness and the impact the fights have on the watcher or reader of the series, which is a pretty prominent negative as well. Um, next, let's look at the quality of villains. Now, <sighs> Obito. Obito was given birth to by Kishimoto. So is Madara. Now, while right now they seem to be very underwhelming, Madara, Madara not as much. Madara is pretty high up there, especially because, you know, he did do some big shit at the start of the war, and he's probably going to do some big shit later on, noting that he did say he has a trump card up his sleeves. Um, but the fact is, Madara has been inactive for the longest. And Obito, let's not even fucking talk about Obito. Please, I don't, I, <laughs> how do you want to hear it? But you have to know. Everyone that says they dislike the series because of the villains, you have to note that Kishimoto has given birth to some epic ass villains. Kisame, Hidan, Kakazu, Orochimaru, Sasori, Deidara, 
Itachi, not really a villain, but fuck it. You have to know and give Kishimoto his credit for making some pretty damn nice villains. Um, they're all dead, they're all deceased at this point, but they existed. See, a lot of people, when they come, uh, take into account whether they like or dislike Naruto, are only taking one arc into account, the current war arc. But you have to fucking say, you have to fucking say, no matter what, that Kishimoto has done his work when it comes to creating villains. You did not say Bleach was a bad series because of the Fullbring arc, which was fucking utter shit. So you can't really say that the Naruto series is bad just because of this arc. Um, if you are going to write it off, at least give a few other reasons other than the war arc, even though it is underwhelming. Um, it's still, you gotta remember, it's not even over yet. The very last thing I'm going to be talking about uh, in determining whether or not Naruto uh, deserves the hate it gets is going to be the world building. The world building in the fucking series. The start of the series back in part one, I have to say the world building was pretty close to top notch. Pretty close. But when we got to ship it in, the world building started to take a turn for the worst. As, you know, part one, we were establishing different villages, personalities of you know, people from the different villages when we were introduced to Gara and all that. And we were introduced to certain power struggles also within the different nations. But in part two, the series developed such a one-track setting, find Sasuke, find Sasuke, find fucking Sasuke, that we really cut down on the world building and we started to focus more on individual aspects of the plot, such as the love between, or the bonds between Naruto and Sasuke, and the certain, uh, trials they have to go to to get to the point where they will meet up with Sasuke and then he'll fucking run away again. They'll meet up with him and they'll run away again. So it, it became like the world building and the plot was uh, like wearing a blindfold. You know, you, you had everything was wide open and shit, uh, in part one. The possibilities were endless and in part two you put on a blindfold and put little slits on the eyes and now you can only see Sasuke. Sasuke, Sasuke, fucking Sasuke, and that did get kind of annoying um, to, to, to people like myself who were really interested in the shinobi world and didn't really want to have this focus, this microscopic lens focusing on the ass of Sasuke. So, um, and it wasn't even the fact that he was focusing on Sasuke that really bothered me, it was the fact that Sasuke didn't even give a fuck about Naruto or the village. But Naruto still wanted to pursue him and lure him back to the village and chase him and etc, etc, etc. That really got to me. But that is a conversation for a fucking other time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think I actually think that's we're gonna be where I end it off. And I leave it to you guys to determine whether or not you think Naruto deserves the hate that this community gives it. I personally love the series. I don't write it off just because of this current arc or the aspects that I mentioned in this video. I actually think it does not deserve all the hate that it gets, but some of it, definitely a fair chunk of it, it does deserve uh, some of the dislike that people give the series. But overall, I love the series, I will never drop it, and I, even though I do talk bad about it from time to time in some of the reviews, it's strictly, you know, more me being biased against this current arc than the whole series, because, come on, you gotta admit, Naruto had some pretty epic arts, two arcs, tuning exams. Uh, Sasuke Retrieval Arc, um, Hidan Kakazu, Pain Invasion, I mean, come on. This is really one of the top-notch series right now that's ongoing. Let's be honest, um, even though the current arc is underwhelming. Anyways, guys, Alan Palantir, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, I am out. Peace.